Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. Now what we're doing in this video is we're pouring a concrete floor right over the wood deck in, in somebody's house. And the reason for it is because they want heated concrete floors in their house. So they, what they did was they stapled the radiant tubing right to the, right to the plywood deck as you can see there. And we're pouring an inch and a half thick concrete floor in every single room in the house. Now, hey, just real quick, if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. This channel is all about concrete. We do concrete floors, concrete slabs, stamp concrete, stained concrete, uh, pool decks, patios. So if you like to learn about that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. Hit the little bell notification while you're down there so you'll be updated on all my new videos. So what we're doing is we're wheelbarrowing the concrete inside this, inside this house in every room. Uh, we're starting here in a bedroom. The concrete's an inch and a half thick. We're using a pea stone concrete, so the rock in it is really small. And the whole reason behind this is those tubes you see will be heating the house. There'll be hot water running through those tubes, and that hot water will heat up the concrete and these people will have heated floors throughout the whole house. Now they're going to end up putting for a finished flooring, they'll end up doing some type of flooring over the concrete. So the concrete floor is really just a base to hold the heat and heat the floors. You could do hardwood over this, you could do tile over it, you could do some type of inlay, you could even do carpet over it and all your floors would be heated. So the, the video is just showing you the process of how we do these floors. We actually do quite a few of these floors every year in, year in houses like this in Maine. Almost everybody's got radiant heat floors now that build a new house. So right now we're uh, working in a, either a closet or there's a bathroom right there to the left you can see. It's kind of tricky sometimes wheelbarrowing inside these smaller rooms the wheelbarrows just barely fit through some of the door openings now this is a big bathroom it's also kind of tricky to video these because there's so many so many little rooms but what we're, I'm, I'm doing the wheelbarrow there me and Sean that's my, my buddy Sean um, <clears throat> there's T and Abby there spreading out the concrete and then we got Luke and Darren and another guy Eric who uh, straight edging it, magging the edges. So what we do is we'll level the concrete right up to that first sill plate that you know, they've got around each wall or under each wall, which is an inch and a half thick. And that's what we're using to go by for our grade. It takes a little bit of time to do. This, was, this house was about you know 2500 square feet and there was probably seven or eight different rooms in it so these smaller rooms they, they take a little bit of time there's a lot of edging to go around and then as you'll see stick around for later in the video you'll see us get into the big room the living room and the in the dining room area that's a lot more open there we are in another another bedroom right here Luke's magging that out, straight edging it. And what we'll do is, you know, we'll get the concrete poured, we'll get it bull floated, just like we normally do on all our floors. And then to finish it, we just we just kind of finish it by hand with those knee boards that you've seen in some of my other videos. It doesn't have to be a mirror glass finish on these. It just has to be flat and smooth. So whatever they're putting for flooring over it, you know lays down really nice now here you can see we're in one of the bigger rooms a wheelbarrow goes quite a way so it doesn't really take that long to wheelbarrow a big house like this I think this whole house took about 10 yards of concrete for about a 2500 square foot house that's not that much T and Abby there leveling it out. There's me wheelbarrowing. We'll get that all spread out, straight edged. We're actually going by, you see that two by four on the ground. They screwed to the ground there. 
Um, that's going to be for some type of probably like a, something coming up through the floor at a later date. Could be an outlet. I don't know. It could be anything. We can actually use that to go by when we straight edge. So it makes it kind of convenient. You can see how they got those radiant heat tubes laid out. There's different zones in the house. There's probably three or four different zones so they can control the heat throughout the whole house with that. Just like most any heating system, this one's just in the concrete. Yeah, we're getting that straight edge now. And so, I mean, we straight edge it. We bow float it just like any other floor. It's just a lot thinner. We got fiber mesh in the concrete for reinforcement. I mean, it, it doesn't really need reinforcement. It's not. This floor is not going to go anywhere. Even if it does crack, um, it's going to be covered with a, another type of flooring. So we do use a we use a three thousand psi concrete, which is pretty much the same PSI we use for most our floors. But we're not too concerned about putting wire mesh in it or anything like that. It's just, it's not really necessary in a floor like this. And we'll pour it, you know, we'll pour it loose enough so we're not killing ourselves. We'll pour a, a six inch slump for something like this, something that's good and workable. You can see we're putting that plywood down because we don't want, when we tip that wheelbarrow up, we don't want it to puncture one of those tubes. Right now they've got the tubes pressured with air, so if for some reason we did pop a hole in one, at least we'd know and we could fix it. And a lot of times we can just dump right in between the tubes. But like I said, we do quite a few of these floors every year. If, if you know, if you if you want heated floors, this is probably the best way to do it. Another way to do it would be to staple those radiant tubes underneath the plywood floor in the basement. It just doesn't heat the floor quite as well that way. Then you got to insulate under the tubes. This is a little bit more efficient. This whole. This whole pour probably took us, I think it took us about an hour and a half to pour the floor. So, I mean, for 10 yards, that's that's quite a long time, but for wheelbarrowing, it's not too bad. You can see we're straight edging it just like we would any other floor. Kick screeding. Luke's bowl floating it, getting it smooth. The straight edging pot, you know, it, even though it's an inch and a half thick, it's not really that much more difficult to straight edge something like this than it would a regular floor that's four inches thick. As long as you got the right slump. Slump is what we call, you know, how wet or how dry the concrete is. So we call that a slump. I mean, generally we'll pour for most of our floors of what we call a five or a six inch slump. And I won't go into great detail about why they call it a slump, but that's what that terminology is. So we're getting out around that corner. Like I said, it's hard to get good camera angles because of all the walls and all the movement going on. We can't have the camera in the way. Yeah, now you can see a little bit better around that corner. See, there's a fireplace hearth over there this was a pretty big room in this house it's probably 18 feet by I think it was like 35 feet get that straight edge down Like I said, guys, you know, my channel is all about concrete work. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. Um, I'm, I'm teaching you guys, you know, everything I know about concrete. I've been doing this 39 years. I, I know a little bit about it, especially flat work. We specialize in all kinds of different types of flat work. 
but we do a lot of decorative concrete also mostly stamping wheelbarrow on these floors you know sometimes we'll pump them if we can't reach with a wheelbarrow we actually had the, the wheelbarrow the wheelbarrows we got set up for this job were in the garage and then we had to wheel it up a, a little ramp probably about a in a foot and a half tall ramp you know we made the ramp out of two by twelves to get into the house from the garage so I mean it wasn't it was a little more difficult than normal but not too bad if we can't wheelbarrow it then we have to pump it and drag the pump hose all throughout the house and that's kind of a pain so we'd much rather wheelbarrow something like this we got one more room to do after this big room and then we're gonna that'll finish up the house so we're getting down towards the end here so this is how you have heat heated floors in your house guys I mean if you want radiant heat and you want heated floors and you gotta you gotta put the tubing down. You gotta pour the concrete over them, and then the concrete's gonna concrete's gonna hold that heat really well. And then you can put any type of flooring you want over it, basically. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in on my next videos. I come out with videos every Monday and Friday, and we'll see you on the next video, guys.